Miss Grace. Today I am going to read the Bible story. The Bible title is 8th chapter. Joseph forgave his brothers. Genesis 42 to 45. Joseph's brother were not good to him. They did bad things to him because of them. Joseph had hurt times hard times in, in Egypt. But God was with Joseph. God helped him. God gave Joseph wisdom. God made him a ruler of Egypt. Joseph forgave his brothers. As Joseph said, they had seven good years with God's help. Joseph saved crops. After that, seven bad years followed, but they had plenty of food in Egypt. Yeah, what they knew the meaning of the dream because of God's power, right? He knew the meaning of the dream because of God's power. power. God will help us if we knew God and know who is the real God. The brothers met the governor in the palace. They didn't know what the Egyptian governor was Joseph. Joseph's brother wanted to buy some food. Joseph knew they were his brothers. Joseph said, you heard the spies. You want to know how much food we have. The brothers were shocked. They said, in fear. No, we're here to buy food. So one day in Israel, also there were no food. So he have gone to Egypt to fight, buy the foods and they didn't know the governor was Joseph and they were saying Joseph was saying your spies there he was saying like that because to test his brother like like that they're still bad or not Joseph wanted to know if they still hate one other. Bring your youngest brother next time and prove that you are not spies. Joseph saw that they cared for cared for Ben Benjamin. He saw them help one other to keep Benjamin safe. Joseph wanted to ask them about his father and Benjamin, but he decided not to ask. He gave them enough food. He let them go to their hometown. So, so, now after this they were being like good brothers his father was so i'm sad so i think they have changed themselves this is like my yearning
Joseph's brothers came to Egypt to buy food again. They didn't recognize Joseph. Joseph couldn't help crying when they when he saw his brothers again. Brothers, I am Joseph. The brothers were scared. They saw that they will be killed. But Joseph said, God sent. It's all right, brothers. God sent me to Egypt before you. Let's live here in Egypt. Joseph forgave his brother. They lived happily together. Chapter nine. Chapter nine. Brave Miriam, Exodus two. Miriam was an Israel girl. Her family lived in Egypt. <sighs> lived in Egypt. The Pharaoh of Egypt. Did not like the people of Israel. The Pharaoh ordered his men to kill all the Israel's baby boys. Miriam's mother had a lovely baby. She had hide the baby and the raise and raise him. Um. Yeah. As the baby grew, she couldn't hide him any longer. She laid her son in the basket and passed him in the river. I will be with the baby," said Miriam. Miriam was a brave girl. Miriam followed the basket. Sir, correctly. The baby cried in the basket. A woman came to the river to take a bath. She was a princess of Egypt. Look at the basket. She was surprised to see the baby in the basket. I will raise this cute baby myself. Now you. I think you can see why Miriam is a brave girl. She has followed, and in the next page, we will see why Miriam is a brave girl. The princess said, "I will call this baby Moses because I took him out of the water." Moses means. A child out of the water. I need a nurse. Worried the princess, Miriam was watching everything. She ran to the princess and said, "I know a woman. She can help you." Miriam is a brave girl because she have told the to the princess that her mother. Can take care of the baby. The mother will be very happy. My mother can take care of the baby," said Miriam. The princess said yes, yes, and Miriam brought her mother. The princess asked her. I will pay you for nursing this baby. The mother was very happy to raise her baby, her own baby, openly. Thank you. You're such a brave girl, Miriam," said the mother. Yes, today I read the Bible story that 
and next time we'll read chapter 10 Moses saw the famine of the bush yeah then bye